In this video today, I want to show you how to flash uh, the newest Jelly Bean version 4.2.2 to your Samsung Captivate. We'll be doing this through flashing the newest CyanogenMod Mod 10.1, so let's get to it. Okay, so today we're going to flash the newest Jelly Bean onto our Captivate, which is pretty cool because this phone was released in mid-2010, and we're able even now to be able to flash the newest Jelly Bean that the newest phones, the Galaxy S4, all that that's going to be running. So pretty cool that we, that we can still do this. Okay, in the first part of this video is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you everything we need to download first. All right? First thing, and I'll have a link in the description to all these different sites. Uh, the first one here is this wiki uh, from XDA, and it's for our phone for the Captivate, the i897. And The first thing you need to do is make sure you have the correct USB drivers installed. If you don't have the correct USB drivers, go to this right here at, the, at the, one of the top sections here, USB drivers. You can download this driver, install it to your computer. Make sure that's there, because if you don't have the, the uh, drivers installed, we're not going to be able to connect, and this is not going to be able to work. Okay, next thing you need to download is this Odin flashing program. Okay, I'll have a link to this. Go over here, download this Odin 3 version 1.85. This is what we're going to use to flash um, our first uh, kernel to. Uh, we're going to use it to flash the kernel through this. Okay, so there's going to be two uh, kernels that you need to download. First one is you're going to download uh, this speed mod uh, kernel. And so I'll have a link to this down at the bottom of the first uh, post here. Download this one at the very top, the Speed Mod Kernel I897K13C. You want to download the .tar version because we need to flash this through Odin. That's how we're going to do it. Okay, the other kernel you need to download is this Glitch Kernel. Okay, I'll have a link to this, and you want to scroll down here, obviously, for our Captivate download, the version uh, 13.1. Okay. Uh, next thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and download the ROM that we're going to be flashing. We'll be down. We'll be flashing the newest uh, signage in Mod 10.1. Um, here's this thread. I'll go ahead and have a link to this. And you want to go ahead and download this latest latest build. When you click on this, it's going to take you to, directly to signage in the site, and you're going to download. Just download this one at the top up here. And then the other thing we're going to need to download is our Google Apps, or abbreviated as GAPS. So once you click on that, it's going to take you to this site. And you want to download the top one this March 1st, 2013. Okay, so with this Odin that we downloaded, first of all, I have uh, I went ahead and took that. It was a .zip for this Odin, and I extracted that file to my desktop. So we've got these two files on here, and I've got this .exe. I'll be opening that up in just a second. Okay, and I brought the speed mod kernel over here. Leave it as a dot tar. You're not going to do anything to that. Leave it as this dot tar. So I've got it right over here uh, in my, uh, on my desktop. Okay, these other three files that we downloaded, this glitch kernel, leave it as a dot zip. This signagen mod 10.1, leave it as a dot zip. And the gaps version of the Google Apps, leave it as a dot zip. And it's what you want to do is let's go ahead and do it now. Go ahead and put these three files onto your phone. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Make sure that you do this before we flash that kernel to it, okay? If you don't flash, if you don't go ahead and put it there now, we're gonna, you're going to run into some problems. So make sure you get those three files onto your, uh, onto your phone. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm going to do here. <clears throat> okay, and I've already put them on here. I went ahead and just named a folder. I named it A1 flash for video tutorial and if you want to make some folder like that so you'll know where you're looking I mean you can see on my card I've got all kinds of stuff so it's kind of hard to sift through all that so I just made a folder so I could find it real quick take these three files and put it onto onto your card wherever if you make a folder inside of your card that's fine but put these three files onto your card now before we open the Odin program okay so I've already got that put on my phone so it's what I want to do now. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my phone now that I've got those three files on there. And it's what I want to do is go ahead and open the Odin, this .exe. Okay, that's open. We're good on that. So now my phone is what I want to do is I want to boot back into download mode. The way I do that, quickest way to do is just pull the battery. It doesn't matter where you're at. Just pull the battery, put the battery back in. 
Make sure I don't push the power button or that's going to mess this up. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to push and hold. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push and hold the volume up and down at the same time. Do not push the power button here because it will throw us out of the mode we're trying to get into. Okay, so I'm going to push and hold volume up and down. I'm holding that. As I'm holding that, I'm going to plug in my USB cable and it's going to bring us up into downloading. Okay, that's exactly what I want right there. Now over on my computer, you can see here in this Odin program right here it brought this up as yellow. That means that my computer is reading this phone on a port. And that's what I want. If yours does not show up yellow, then that means you probably don't have those USB drivers installed or you don't have the correct ones or, or, or not installed. Whatever, something happened with your, your USB driver installation, that's probably why this is not showing up. So make sure this is showing up as yellow here. Okay, that's what I want. So I'm going to go to the PDA slot here, click on PDA, and I want to choose this speed mod kernel, the dot tar. Okay, I'm going to open that. Make sure you that repartition is not checked. Make sure it is not checked. Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to push start, and this is going to take just a second. You can see it says kernel. It's flashing the kernel, the Z image down here, and it passed. And you can see on my phone here how my phone is rebooting. Okay, now I was on gingerbread, and I didn't show you that, but I was on gingerbread. And so this kernel, this speed mod, is uh, not going to let me boot back up. Okay, it's not compatible. That's why we had to put those files on there before. All right. So it's what I want to do from here is I'm going to go ahead and just pull the battery. Okay, I'll put the, the battery back in. Now I want to boot back into my custom recovery. Okay. So, and I got that custom recovery by flashing uh, that speed mod kernel. All right. So push volume up and down at the same time and then push the power button. All three of those. Continue to hold all three of them until that comes up. Then you can let off the power. Continue holding volume up and down. And then you can see here it booted me back now into my clockwork mod recovery. That's what I want. Okay, now so what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go down to... Uh, first of all, I want to go ahead and do wipe data factory reset. Now, I haven't said this yet, but make sure that... Before you get into this, that you have everything saved, that you put all your pictures, all your videos. Make sure you put all that on your computer so that it doesn't get lost and, uh, as we go through here. So I'm going to wipe factory data reset. Okay, the power button selects, and your volume up and down will take you up and down in the menus. And I want to do yes, delete all user data. Okay, now I'm going to go down to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And now I want to go find that folder, that A1 uh, that I talked about a second ago, A1 flash for video tutorial right there. First thing I want to do is flash this glitch kernel, cm7captivateglitch.zip. Okay, so I'm going to choose that, and I'm going to push yes, install. Okay, so it flashed uh, my, my glitch kernel there. Okay, so I want to go back, reboot system now. So you can see there now it's opening up this glitch kernel. Okay, so it's going to be looping right there. So that's what I want to do. Go ahead and pull the battery. Put it back in. And now I want to do boot back into my recovery. So volume up, down, push the power at the same time. Let off. Still holding volume up and down there. Okay, so now it booted me back into, um, into my clockwork here. Okay, now I want to go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD I'm going to scroll down to that A1 flash for video tutorial. Okay, now I want to use that CM 10.1. Yes, install it.
Okay. So I did that twice, and it's brought me back up now into uh, into this Clockwork Mod Recovery version 6.0.3. Okay, install zip from SD card again. Choose zip from SD. I'm going to go back to my same file down here. CM 10.1. Install from SD card complete. Okay, now I want to go back to choose zip from SD card again, and I want to flash those gaps that we downloaded. Install gaps, yes. Okay, install from SD card complete. Okay, I'm going to go back. Reboot system now and see where we get. Okay, push reboot system now. It should boot back into 4.2.2 now. All right, cool. It should take a few minutes here. I'm going to pause and uh, pick it up whenever this uh, boots all the way up into Android. Okay, so there you go. Boot it back, you can see, and I'm just going to skip through this stuff real quick here. Skip anyway, I don't know, whatever. Go. Uh, okay, we'll open up here. So we've got these lock screen widgets and also here in Signs in Mod, it's got this. Do whenever you do this, you can open up into all these different ones, open up into messaging. There you go. Um, if you have any questions or anything about uh, this video, please leave comments. Uh, I'll try to answer those as they come in. Uh, if this has helped you, give give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.